Hi everyone, hello and welcome to Happy Saturday Dollar Tree Haul. I am here, we are back, and I am with you and I am ready to haul for you guys. But first, I hope that you guys have had a great couple of days since I saw you last on Happy Wednesday Dollar Tree Haul. I have some great things I can't wait to share with you, but I do want to let you know that today, Today we are doing Easter and with a couple of other things trickled in between. But Valentine's Day is now starting to fall back and Easter is being brought to the floor. So I do have a lot of Easter items and things that I just want to show you that I think are well worth picking up to put those baskets together. So let's talk about the baskets really quick. And these baskets have been coming back to the store every couple of years. Like last year, I don't remember seeing them. Maybe I'm not sure, but I remember the year prior, they were coming out with baskets with this design on it. This color, pink, blue, and gray was in that lineup of these types of little carrying little organization bins and I loved them. So when I saw them come back out this year, I was really, really excited. And I just wanna show you this basket right here to pick up Put whatever you want in it. Browse around the Dollar Tree and find those finds. So this right here just came out at my Dollar Tree um, yesterday and I scooped it right up because I stood there and I looked on my phone to see what the price range was and this thicking, uh, thicker fuller hair is what it's called and it's celluplex pure plant extracts with caffeine and energizer um thickening serum it's a five fluid ounce bottle and this right here was nine dollars and 99 cents online that i found it for and unfortunately right now i don't have the screenshots my husband was supposed to send them to my phone and he didn't and i can't get him away from ice melting outside to be able to provide you those pictures but this right here was $9.99 found online for this particular one right here that is the thickening serum of this brand so I picked this up and that is perfectly wonderful to put into an adult's Easter basket you know some nice shampoo some body you know just hygiene stuff and relaxation stuff like face masks and what have you. And then this one is the shampoo. So this one is the thicker, fuller hair and it's with caffeine energizer as well. And this is volumize, fortify, um, fortify and replenish. And it says fine, thin, limp hair. And it has uh, 12 fluid ounces inside of this bottle right here. And this went for $12.50 that we found it online. So really, really great. I can't wait to put these two things right here in my mom's Easter basket. And I probably will be giving her her Easter basket very soon instead of at Easter time. But I found a lot of things that I'm going to give to her. So that is really good shampoo. Um, and it had good reviews too. And then I found her, oh my dear, I found these beautiful, beautiful pets. And she wears a lot of flat shoes that kind of look like that. So these are great for those particular types of shoes. Wear them with whatever shoes that you want, but sh these are perfect for her. So this is one pair and it's shoe size five to 10 and indulge your feet, fashion lace liners. But how pretty are these? They are just really, really beautiful. The lace and the border around it is just, it's so well done and pretty. So I was really excited to pick those up and those are going to look adorable in this Easter basket for her. I also grabbed her this lipstick right here from the NYX brand and it's called Sydney right there and it's soft matte lip cream. And if that color, I love it because it's like a mix between pink and like lavender. And so I think that it is just a really nice shade. I'm trying to get it to focus for you. 
and I what a pretty Easter color to wear on your lips so I was very very excited about that this is um, the cruelty free brand soft and matte I love it so that inside of her basket as well just really nice things that you can put in there to make her feel like you know she can go pamper herself get it for whoever you want but those baskets are really really nice to make a decent gift and make them whatever price point you want but these items are well worth that dollar or dollar 25 depending on what your store is doing right now I also found these women's socks right here in their size five to nine, and they have the butterflies all over them from the Juncture brand. And I love the colors that are mixed into these stockings right here. They're very, very thick. They have a very thick quality. So I enjoy that feeling very much that like squishiness and just a little soft bounce when you step down. And so I picked those up as well to put in her basket. And then these I got because if it was my Easter basket, I would certainly love these. These right here have these unicorns on it. Well, that's a, that's a llama, I believe, with a unicorn horn. But I love the colors in it. It's so adorable. And the unicorn horn has a mixture of colors in the horn part. So really really cute stockings again from the juncture brand and these are sizes six to two uh seven to two but they are kids and i'm just noticing that that's fine i can squeeze in there <laughs> i can squeeze in there somehow but these are terribly cute so you can put them in whoever's basket you would like my son's girlfriend has really really tiny feet so i'm probably going to give them to her honestly I loved those. So here is the bunny. So stick all of those really nice things in there. Put whatever you want into an adult's Easter basket, if, whether it's pertaining to a male or a female. You can get the blue bin for a male. You can get the gray bin for a male if you wanted to. And then this color and the pink for a lady. And these bunnies are looking really sophisticated. So let me show you this. One more time, this is the depth of it. I think it's really, really such a beautiful container. And then this bunny right here is just absolutely sweet. So they did come out with the white bunnies that are just like this, I believe last year, and I picked up a ton of them, made outfits for them, made personalities for them um, with how I you know, structured them and embellished them. And then they came out this year with this caramel color bunny. And I think this color with the pink lining is so, so pretty. And those really rosy cheeks. So cute. They have a ton of beans in the bum with the little feet that sit flat. They have a nice weight to them so that they're going to sit up nice and tall and cute. So this is this handsome little guy. Stick him in there as just like a little Easter treat to pull it all together. And I think that that basket would be more than adorable. And I would probably make it a $10 basket, you know, with just some of these odds and ends. And I think it would be a really nice gift to give away that somebody would appreciate that you thought of them and took the time to do that for them. And then some of them have a bigger container option for that style you'd have to go to your dollar tree and see everything that's available i believe it was last week i posted a picture to instagram to show you the full layout of those containers and they were so well done every different size of them so beautiful so if you get the one that's a little larger than that they do have these little sun hats right here but they could also go for an easter bonnet and I think these are just, just beautiful. For a dollar, a dollar twenty-five, that's insane. This is like a beach hat and everything for me with my shades on, my flip-flops, and my bathing suit sitting on the seashore. I love it. Look at that bow and the shine to it with that leopard print. No, this is cheetah print. This is a cheetah print. So that hat right there. So I picked that one up. You could put that in an Easter basket. Um, and then this print is definitely like an Easter style going to church. It is so pretty with the floral design all on the ribbon around it. 
so so pretty absolutely gorgeous and then the beautiful flowy bow on the back so i i love their hats they've always done really really well i believe you know putting out their hats their bonnets their sun hats and sometimes their baseball caps have been fantastic when they actually got better at doing them and there was more structure to them so definitely check the hat section because they're coming out with more spring stuff um and summer summer headwear so the winter stuff is starting to go away the valentine's day stuff is starting to go away and that's fine because i need these warm months to come upon us now let's keep going with the Easter stuff here. And I picked up these plates right here and I'm going to use them as little dessert plates for Easter. And these are three of my favorite colors ever. And this is just a, such a beautiful design with the scalloped edge around the plate. I love the bubblegum pink color. It's really, really cute. And I can see, I believe, six plates inside of this. I tried reading the back to see if there was a quantity on the back, but there wasn't. So these are plastic plates. They're not paper plates. So the structure is better and the shininess to them is really nice, even though the plastic, I'll take the plastic off so it won't be such a, a you know, such a glare to it so that you guys can see it. Nah, they're so, so pretty. So that's these plates right here. How adorable are these plates? I am absolutely in love with them. They're going to look so cute having dessert on them for Easter day. And then this blue one right here, I'll try to get this plastic off as quickly as I possibly can, because it is a little difficult. I don't, Sorry, I don't have nails or anything, so um, it's kind of difficult to get it off when I try to rush and do it, but we're working it out. We're working it out. So here is the blue plates. Oh my goodness. How pretty. So, so pretty. And then last but not least, these lilac purple ones. And these seem to be a little easier because there was already a hole in the plastic. So here are the purple plates right there. So that is a decent amount of plates to have dessert if you have family come over, friends, and have an Easter meal. That is going to be really adorable on the table. Now, I found some little teeny tiny wood cutouts and they do call them ornaments. This is a 14 piece right here, but will you look at these little chicks inside of here? You can paint them every pastel color on the rainbow and that is what I'm going to do. Pink and this color like green, um, teal blue and lilac purple and that soft pink like I have on right here. Paint them all different colors and scatter them around on your arts and crafts and Easter wreaths that you make. These are perfect and I just love them. Make them into ornaments, whatever you wanna do with them. Then I found the package of bunnies. So I'm gonna do the same thing with these and paint them every different color. Also yellow, I love yellow for Easter. So here are the teeny tiny little bunnies. So 14 pieces and then the carrots. I love the carrots. I'm probably going to keep these orange with their little green top and just keep them consistent and put some lines on them to create the look of the carrot. So there they are right there and I plan on doing lots of crafting with those and I think that they are fabulous. And so I was really excited to see all this stuff. Then right here, we have the 24 count of pom-poms. And these are in the Easter section as well. And um, for Christmas time, these came out as like snowballs. And these are coming in a much bigger quantity 
than what came out for Christmas for the snowballs. So I'm going to save some of these for Christmas next year to build teeny tiny little snowmen like I did with the Christmas packages and use some for um, bunny tails. But definitely more of these are going to go toward creating little miniature snowballs. Uh, not snowballs, snowmen for next year. So I picked up this package of 24 right there. Then I also grabbed this 18 piece of the bigger ones for the pom-poms. And I think, wow, holy Toledo, wow, because for Christmas, there was not this many in those packages. So save some for next year, guys, if you want to make those little containers with snowballs in them and then put snowball fight on the outside of the little metal bucket that you stick them in for decorating purposes, go get these for Easter and have them for next year. You will have plenty of snowballs to throw around the house next year. I found this hanging sign right here from the decoration uh, line of the Crafters Square Easter line. And you can color this right in or do whatever you want with it. Paint it, color it. And it says Happy Easter. It has the eggs and the front egg has the little bunny feet and the bunny ears on it. So I think that this is really cute to paint and just have a nice little craft night and then hang that up. That has like a lot of detail to it. Actually, that's raised i forgot to show you that this is like an addition piece onto it and it makes it pop out so that it kind of yep just like that so it pops out a little bit for you and then it has the string on top to be able to hang it once you're done embellishing it and painting it and then this one right here i love the most and i love the dad bunny and the little chicky little little tiny baby chicky and it just says welcome i love the clouds in the sky and the sun that little easter basket with the butterfly sitting on the handle how sweet and cute is that then the little string again after you paint it and get it all ready to hang it up then i picked up these easter eggs right here that come on this design and it has the string as well but I love these and I love that the flowers pop out also. So these are going to be really nice wood crafts to sit down and just watercolor. I love watercolor and I usually get the paint palette right from the craft section at the Dollar Tree. And I just watercolor everything. I don't really use like the temper paints or things like that. I like things to I want to see the wood grain really well through it so I like that light look of painting and it will come out more pastel that way too so I just got I'm just gonna go get my paint palette out of my painting kit and do these I actually might do them tonight to be quite honest with you because we are snowed in again and um, we are actually really badly iced in we have been working so hard around this house and outside and trying to keep up with everything these last two weeks of storms and we are getting slammed but we've had so much ice the last few years the winters are becoming more and more dangerous and um it's really scary to be honest with you because there's accidents everywhere and sometimes we run out of things and it's like do we even dare to to even walk on the road really quick to go down to our local grocery store that's you know just down the street and even chance that because we've been stuck in here for days for the last two weeks because of these storms so I hope wherever you guys are you are safe you are staying in you have all of your supplies and that you are warm and just able to kind of ride out this cold weather until we get to the nicer months okay now back to Easter so, so then I got this piece right here and these I thought were stellar this is a bunny, but look at that beautiful, beautiful grit inside of the back of this, you know, that wood 
texture it just gets me every single time and I love the shape of the bunny cutout I love the ears drooping this is just so fantastic I think and I'm probably going to add some embellishments and not paint this I'm going to add some googly eyes I'm probably going to add some pom-poms to just make the feet puffy a little lining of pink felt for the inner part of the ears a little nose and mouth and buck teeth so that's what I'm going to do with this. Sorry, I have the hiccups. Every time I talk really fast um, and I'm, you know, rolling along, I get hiccups. It almost happens every single time. I don't know if you guys notice, but my hiccups are like forever, forever a part of my hauls. Um, so sorry about that if it's disruptive, if you see me hiccuping or something. And right here, I found the chick as well in the Crafter Square one section of the Easter line. And this chick has the same exact background of like that wood grain look. And he's fantastic. Uh, little googly eyes. I'm probably going to paint the beak orange and just stain him a really, really light yellow. So I think he's really sweet and cute and I love the shape that they made him. These are such good big pieces. Uh, and then I'm probably going to just hang them on a wreath form and embellish around them for Easter and hang them up out on my door. You know, because I have so many doors in this house, it's not even funny. So I have plenty of room to speckle things around. I found these LED lights and these are all of my favorite colors because they're all Easter colors except my lavender isn't there. So all of these little eggs on here for this LED light set, there are 10 lights and these are so, so bright. All they need is batteries in the back. I believe that they take, I believe that they take, um, double A's, maybe triple A's. Let me see. Let me see. Indoor use only, it says. And then why can't I ever, I, I don't see the battery size on Do not mix old or new batteries, it says, but it doesn't give specifically which batteries. And that's completely odd because normally it does tell you it it takes me a second to find it but this is what the battery pack looks like so I'm assuming that they're the double A's I believe and they take two of them so the Dollar Tree has batteries I get the Dollar Tree batteries all the time and they work perfectly well for me but I think that these little string lights are so amazing I've been lighting up all of my Valentine's Day options those they just they bring so much light to an area, these string lights that only have 10 lights on them. It's kind of like fantastic to put them in a little mason jar and then it kind of like illuminates even further. So I'm really enjoying picking these up. And that is that one string light that I got, but they did have so many other options of what to pick up for that. Then I picked up these ribbons right here and these are from the Easter line as well. Here's that brand again that keeps showing up in the ribbon section. So there's that and then it has all of these beautiful little Easter eggs all over it. It does say that it is a um, 8 inch by 9 feet piece of ribbon in here. So I think that's cute. Then I also picked up this Happy Easter one right here in this beautiful color. This is my mom's favorite color. So that brand once again. And the same amount of ribbon is in this also. So really, really pretty color to that. So, so cute. Love that one. And then this one has the lavender gingham on it. This one is definitely my favorite. And again, the same amount of ribbon. There was so much ribbon out. If you guys like making Easter bows, I'm just trying to get the glare off of it. Look at how pretty that is. That is so, so pretty. If you guys like making Easter bows and, and um, making tassels or anything, 
their ribbons are fantastic this year. I feel like they're going all out with their ribbon section. So I was happy to find all of their selection of that. Take a look. And then I found these. And this is the first Easter candy that I have found. And these are fantastic. I absolutely love the packaging. And don't tell me that packaging doesn't make a difference. Because my eyes kind of like just as I'm going up and down aisles because I'm there. And these Dollar Trees so often. My eyes can kind of just naturally scan past things that I've already seen. I've already picked up. And I zero into things that pop out at me that are different and this packaging was bright and vivid and beautiful and brand new and my eyes darted right over to it and I was pretty far away from it before I even picked it up. This is the Warheads and these are the watermelon jelly beans and they're sour. So these are completely different than I've ever seen the Dollar Tree carry in any other um, holiday, especially the Easter line. And my son is absolutely going to love those. And that's a hefty little package. So I was so excited to find those also. Now, now that we did like the girly adult basket in the beginning, I'm going to show you what we can pick up at the Dollar Tree to make a basket. And these baskets right here, which I will show you empty in a few minutes once we empty this thing out, this basket is a really, really great size. You can not only pick this up to put on the back of your bicycle because it's that type of fantastic basket that you can just like put right on the back of your bike and ride around and put some flowers in or a picnic basket to ride to the park and have a nice picnic but this is perfect for an easter basket to build you know a gift together for a child and this comes in the color line that i was telling you about with the gray the pink that color and then also that orange color so now let's get into what i put in this basket as just ideas of what you can pick up so i always pick up a stuffy one or two or three to put in an, a kid's easter basket and the plushies at the dollar tree i think are great because they are always sewed really nicely so i would even get these for a small child and feel completely comfortable with it because there's nothing protruding on it that is going to come off the eyes are sewn in you know the beak is sewn in really good all of it is structurally really together and so these two little stuffies right here are my favorite. I love this little gnome in this outfit with those little bunny ears on him. They did have a purple option and they also had another gray one that had, I believe, a deeper blue to his cap and his stockings. And then I love chickies for Easter. Love, love, love them. Love them a little bit more than just the bunnies. Chickies are my thing. So I love his fuzzy puffy hair and I just think he's a doll with the little easter egg on his belly. They did have a line of all of these stuffies. There was a lamb. There was also some uh, puppy dog I believe. There was quite a few other plushies in the box that this one came from. So these are really cute to pick up I feel. Then there was also a box of these guys and I do remember these guys coming out last year also and I love that they are a two pack. So these puppies right here say BFF in a heart and this one says BFF in the pink heart on the back. Let me move his little tag so you can see that. So I think that those are both really, really cute. If I can remember correctly, I feel like these came out maybe last Christmas, but I could be wrong to be quite honest with you. Or Valentine's Day, not Christmas, Valentine's Day. But these were in the Easter section this year. So this is a two pack right there. Perfect. You can separate them and, you know, get more for your dollar by giving them to two different children. And then this one with the frog and this one says friends and this one says forever. So they, I believe had another three different sets of these that were a two pack and I picked them up to put in some Easter baskets. I also picked this little fuzzy bum right here up with the blue little 
thumper feet and if you wanted to take the stick out and just situate it in the basket as like you know the Easter Bunny came to town and brought you this cute little basket you could do that and then you could put him on a wreath or something instead of the stick or keep the stick on keep it for yourself put it inside of a potted um, you know plant or a floral arrangement with his little bunny bum sticking out that would be really cute too his puffy little tail he is just the cutest. They did have him in a pink option as well for his little thumper feet, but I wanted the blue because I have a boy in my life that I love so much, my son, and so I wanted to um, pick it up to represent my baby boy that is now 18 years old and no longer anywhere near being a baby. <laughs> and then here I grabbed some slime, and these are are my favorite colors again so i'm really loving that they have all of these colors that are just they go so well together and even though these are slime and could go for any time the colors on these are perfect for easter pickups to put in a child's basket get it for an adult get it for whoever you want everybody likes slime don't they i love slime so these are really cool this is lovely lavender and this is also the Nickelodeon Slime brand. So that is really, really cool. So I picked that one up. Then I picked up this one that says mint green. And that is a beautiful color. Then I have the pretty pink one. I was actually talking to my friend Caitlin the other day and she was watching Pretty in Pink and I was so jealous. I love all of those old movies. Love, love, love them. Dirty Dancing, Pretty. No, she wasn't watching Pretty in Pink. She was watching Dirty Dancing. But then it made me instantly think of Pretty in Pink. Made me think of all of those awesome movies that I was obsessed with growing up. And now I think I'm going to have myself a whole entire movie day from it. So this is the Pretty in Pink slime right here. And, um... So those three slimes together would be a totally awesome pickup. Then I grabbed this right here. Now tell me these aren't nifty. This is a three pack of coloring and activity books. Um, and they are so beautiful. They almost look Lisa Frankish. And the three pack for a dollar or a dollar twenty five. And then you can separate them between three kids. That is nice to just put in like a little basket for somebody. I don't ever, you know, really go completely bananas. Christmas is more like, I like to do a lot of gifts, a lot of like moments, memories, and things like that around Christmas. But um, Easter, I just like a little basket and then I like to be together as family. Then you can pick up this right here that has the 10 count of the colored pencils. And I think these are fantastic. It has all the primary colors in it. And this brand right here is Liquimark. So this right here, and then they have pencil sharpeners in the same aisle. Grab a pencil sharpener, throw it in the basket with this as an option. You know, put the whole pack in or separate them between a couple of kids and get a couple more colored pencils that's a nice little addition to an easter basket as well just little things little things i used to make him a cute little basket for easter and then we would either you know go to church sometimes during easter or the day before and then we would have our big easter dinner a ton of family over easter egg you know hunts and then coloring the eggs and you know it's just about the experience and the memories that you're making with the people that you love so then i found these easter coloring books and these were brand new and i was so happy to pick them up right away and this is easter time adventures and it has those beautiful little chickies on the front and I think that they are absolutely adorable. Then inside, here is one of the coloring pages. But this is a really thick book. I love the bunny that says Happy Easter. And this girl right here looks kind of vintage -y, But she's on an Easter egg hunt. And she's trying to get that egg up in the tree, which is really cute. Really nice, thick coloring book right there. And then I picked up 
this one and this one has the bunny on it that kind of looks like Thumper so in here this is one of the other options for coloring these are both the same size books there were four coloring books in this lineup right here that I grabbed this one has the little ducklings on it so I had to have that I love coloring but I'm also you know able to gift these away to some kids for Easter that are in my life so here is that really really cute and then there is a fourth one I thought that there was maybe I didn't oh yeah there it is and then this one right here he looks like he is gallivanting happily through those flowers the little bee is chasing him I love the color the covers of these are so great they're so so great and then this oh they have you know their activity pages as well so this that that guy right there is getting all the eggs so here is this book and then I think you guys are really, really going to like this one. This is Coco Melon. Coco Melon coloring book. And this is the Jumbo Coloring Activity Book. So if any of you have small people in your life, Coco Melon's a pretty big hit. And um, I couldn't believe it when I found Coco Melon at the Dollar Tree, even in just a coloring book. So here this little gem is right here look at him having tubby time with all the bubbles that is just the cutest thing ever so grab some crayons grab some colored pencils I loved doing craft baskets for my son when he was small and I love putting these little gifts together from the Dollar Tree because you don't have to spend too too much money you can buy coloring books other places for a dollar as well um but you know what it's the sentiment and the thought behind it that is so important for them to just wake up and believe that peter cottontail has come to their house and it's just a magical moment to be special for them and i took that stuff very seriously when my son was growing up and my mom did it for me as well so i just enjoy the magicalness of like the holidays and it's just fun so this is the basket right here all emptied out i am probably gonna put this on the back of my bicycle this summer and use it for for that and it does have these nice handles right here so that you can just kind of take it up and off and bring it along with you pack a picnic in there and head to the park guys so a nice big cute basket so I hope you guys find all these things but that is it happy Saturday Dollar Tree haul I love you guys so so much thank you for being here with me I have to head out I gotta go help my husband ice melt and I have to help him shovel and the ice is literally hitting the window so hard right now he told me don't worry take a break go in record your Dollar Tree haul and then we'll probably be in the same position because our cars are frozen solid 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 so I'm gonna go help him out I love you please if you would subscribe like share comment down below and hit the bell notification so that you are aware of every single time that I upload a new video I do Dollar Tree hauls for you here on this channel on Saturdays Mondays and Wednesdays and that is it I love you and I thank you guys for being a part of my life my days and my weeks and you know I just have so much fun with you so please happy healthy safe strong loved and blessed always and forever and don't forget to be kind i hope you guys have a fantastic fantastic weekend and i will see you on happy monday dollar tree haul i love you guys bye everyone